<laughs> there you are. <laughs> ah. No good you hiding. Can't hide from me. And we solved the problem with the dragon. Yeah. And what should we fail you? Oh Christ. Adrian, I told you before, you're not to give her the Bob Martins. You're to give her the sleeping tablets. Jesus, don't you learn? Sorry. <laughs> God almighty. If I gave her too much, she might, you know, be asleep forever. You don't want that, especially at dinner time. I don't know. She keeps looking at the dog food afterwards and getting very hungry. <laughs> She's... I know, she started panting. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. I don't mind, but God. Ah, oh, Jesus, we ne never get anything right like that way. Right. Ah, I'm here. Uh, I thought she was asleep. I genuinely thought she'd gone to sleep. Oh dear, oh dear. What a fool pie. Well, it's getting near Easter. God, what a way to spend Easter. Sorry, bad joke. Um, I hope you all got your those horrible sickly things. You know, they call them Easter eggs. That's next week. Is that next week? Yeah. Oh, they're horrible things. Unless you get Belgium or Dutch, isn't it? The other chocolate, or is it German? But usually with 10th grade chocolate, it's really gross. I don't know, Cadbury chocolate's very nice, Cadbury. Ah, oh, no, Adrian. Chocolate is a sickly thing. You know how chocolate comes from? It comes from cocoa bean. Yeah, cocoa bean. Oh, dear. And they put very little chocolate in dark chocolate, from what I understand. Dark chocolate? They put plenty of chocolate in dark chocolate. Dark I meant chocolate milk. is cured by cocoa bean. I meant milk. Oh, they don't put any milk in dark chocolate. Oh, okay. That's why it's called dark chocolate. The clue's in the name, dark chocolate. Okay. I want to discuss... Now we've got over that. <laughs> Ghosts. You know, those dark spectres that materialise in front of you. Well, a lot of well, these ghost hunters um, become aware of, they're relying on technical gadgets completely. Uh, what they're picking up is not ghosts at all, it's residue. Walls actually record events that have happened in that building. This is a fact. So what happens is that these events become activated like um, a glorified time machine. And I believe that what they are anticipating, a spirit, is an actual fact, the residue of something violent that occurred within that confinement and it stayed within the building. Have you noticed all these castles and places, they all have their ghosts? But is it ghosts? In some cases, you can get earthbound ghosts. Why are they earthbound? Well, usually, so most suicides are earthbound. They have to remain earthbound until until they they get forgiven by the person they've left heartbroken. So they cause a lot of problems, and they are earthbound. Other spirits, because they are got an attachment. There's something that um, hasn't been finished. They've left something unfinished. 
So they become earthbound until that it has finished. Uh, there's a place in Yorkshire, um, Dark Raven one will probably shout out to me in a minute where it is, where cars used to stop on the roadway to watch uh, a Roman reenactment. And there used to be stopped queues of cars. And they'd be appearing over and watch all of these soldiers brandishing swords and attacking each other. Was it, was it Roman love or was it Civil War? Sorry, I stand corrected. It was the English Civil War. I think it was at Marsden, wasn't it? Eh? Just outside York. Yeah, just outside of York. And there were these queues of cars who used to be watching this battle. And then all of a sudden, they fade. And they go, whoa, what's happened here? What were we watching? They were watching Spirit reenacting a very violent scene I mean there was nothing I mean the English Civil War was a very bloody affair I'm not going to go into details but it was very bloody and I believe this could be residue but I don't think so. I think this is definitely spirit. And they've become attached to it. They've caught in a timeline. And they go through the same thing over and over again. And then all of a sudden, it doesn't happen anymore. Why? The energy that was used, spirit takes a lot of energy to materialise. And the energy, I believe, was burnt out. The energy was completely absorbed. So where do they go? Where do these spirits go? Well, I believe they could come back and they're reborn again. Or they could be reborn on another planet or whatever. I do not believe it's residue, because residue is a different feeling. It's a feeling, you know, where the back of your hair stands on end. And you know there's someone watching you. This is residue. These were actually materializations. So it was probably either attachment or because it was so horrific, a job was not finished. So they go through it over and over and over again until the axis energy is burnt up. Once the axis energy is burnt up, they fade and they can get on with their lives. Now, in the 1800s, they estimated there was only one billion people on this earth. Now we have approximately 7 billion. Where do all the access come from if reincarnation occurs? Oh, wake up, oh ye foolish people. Don't you think animals reincarnate into a higher species? A higher species. Sorry. Bit of a typo there. They develop into a higher species all the time. So your friendly little dog could become human in the next life. The, ca the friendly cow that you pet or horse that you pet could become human in the next life. So therefore it is a continuation of life. Why Earth? Because it is uh, an environment that you're used to. Some of you will venture off into different uh, other environments, different planets. 
the the universe is expanding all the time and it will continue to expand and now it's the expansion is accelerating so we know there are at least six earth type planets out there some of them are more advanced than Earth, some of them less advanced. Some of them probably still in the Stone Age era. But there are Earth type plants. They have oxygen, nitrogen, um, helium, argon, whatever. I just hope and pray that they they don't let what happened to their planet ha let what's happening to ours with nasties ruling us. The great God in America telling everyone what to do and where to go and that he takes his instructions from NATO or no, from Europe. I'm talking about Obama. The fake president of America. So we get to understand. I mean, when you think about it, you can't even grow your little veggies in your back garden without a license. How ridiculous! They're stopping people getting, they're going to stop people getting herbs and they're enforcing their brand of medicine. What the hell is going on over there? Well, it is sad. And you know, in Ireland we can come very complacent. Oh yeah, news is great. We'll turn over and watch the soccer. <laughs> they don't realize pain and agony and the misery people are going through because of these greedy little men that rule their, their country. We've got greedy little men over here as well but uh, it's nowhere near to the extent of America and England. Fortunately a lot of the corruption we have someone in power that is trying to halt all this corruption in governments, these greedy men. How much is enough? Come on, how much money is enough? Look at, uh, there's a Mexican, he, he's, I can't think of his name offhand, he's the richest man in the world. Fourteen months have passed. He owns trillions, not billions. But how much is enough? For God's sake, you can't take it with you. You've got more than you ever need. And they're too mean to help others. So, I sympathise with you. I know I've gone off track from spirit, but uh, this is what ground uh, binds spirit the earth. You think they've got away with it and that they live in a lap of luxury, oh great, and they got away with it. Uh -uh, they haven't. There's no such thing as a free lunch and the payment will be due. Okay. She's gone very quiet, she's gone back to sleep. We keep, we keep, we keep putting in the pills into her tea but I don't know what the hell's happening. <laughs> it's now 15 minutes past. Sleepy as keeps giving me a time check. <laughs> so, I better get off of here. Thanks for listening to me, folks. And it's great seeing you all again. Namaste. I'm Shanti.